Hi, my name is Mike Scott. I'm the industrial product manager with the Modal Shop. Uh, we manufacture the Model 9100 and 9110 portable vibration calibrator capable of testing accelerometers, velometers, and proximity probes, uh, data acquisition, alerts, alarms, uh, everything that uh, is utilized uh, in the industrial marketplace to monitor vibration. The kind folks here at IVC Technologies have allowed me to come in and borrow their uh, Emerson CSI 2130 Machinery Health Analyzer so that I can show you how the input sensitivity of the Machinery Health Analyzer can be adjusted uh, using the value read on the 9110D portable calibrator to give you precise measurements every time you go out uh, on your vibration route. And if you're like me, or like a lot of analysts that I know, you have a variety of sensors at your disposal. So this is a good test to perform before you go out on the route. And it's easy to do because the sensor can be magnetically mounted to the portable calibrator. It doesn't take much time and the calibrator can be scaled in both inches per second and G's. So in this test, we'll show you how to read uh, on the CSI 2130 in inches per second. Then we'll adjust the input sensitivity in G's, reading it on the calibrator's display here, and you'll see the final adjustment and the precision uh, reading that's made by the CSI 2130 after we properly scale it for the sensor that we're using. So let's start the test. So this is a nice way to test the accuracy of the CSI 2130 uh, Machinery Health Analyzer. I have my analyzer set in live mode and I have my uh, vibration sensor mounted magnetically to the portable vibration calibrator, shaking at one inch per second peak at 1800 CPM. And you can see when I press the button to acquire data that the vibration analyzer is going to give me uh, the correct peak, uh, it's in the correct place on the FFT spectrum there at about 30 hertz or 1800 CPM, but you can see that the overall vibration level is 0.87 inches per second peak, and um, the calibrator is generating one inch per second peak. So when you see a discrepancy like that, what you can do is uh, stop acquiring data first and then unplug the vibration sensor from the from the CSI 2130 analyzer and plug it right into the uh, portable vibration calibrator from Modal Shop and read the exact sensitivity of the sensor in question. Now you're going to want to read that sensitivity in G's, not inches per second, uh, because the uh, machinery health analyzer is actually integrating down to, um, to velocity. But you can see, and the sensor is scaled in acceleration. Now you can see that my sensitivity is 90.43 uh, millivolts per G at this exact speed. So uh, what I need to do in the machinery health analyzer when I test this again is properly scale the input sensitivity for this accelerometer. And this is a common reason that vibration measurements are slightly off in the industrial marketplace. So if I enter into the setup menu and uh, I enter into my sensor setup menu, you can see that my sensitivity was pre-programmed for 0.1 volts per engineering unit, which is 100 millivolts per G. Now, I just was able to read on the calibrator that the sensitivity of my accelerometer is actually 90 millivolts per G, not 100 millivolts per G. So if I go in and change this, I actually, 90 millivolts is 0 0.09 volts. Uh, you got to do a little math there with the decimal point. So 0 0.09 <clears throat> volts per G is my input sensitivity on channel A. Now if I go ahead and back out of that, and then back out of this menu one more time, and acquire data. And once again, I'm going to put the shaker back in inches per second mode. You can see I'm shaking at one inch per second peak. And now that I've properly scaled the uh, machinery health analyzer, the 2130, you can see that I'm reading 0 0.96 um, inches per second peak. So um, that is uh, much closer. I was at 0.88 inches per second peak. Now that I've scaled the analyzer, I'm within 5% of uh, my input vibration, which is one inch per second peak. Special thanks to IVC Technologies, located in Lebanon, Ohio, just north of Cincinnati, where technicians can not only obtain classroom vibration training,
but have the opportunity for hands-on learning in IVC's Vibration Lab, allowing them to pursue their ASNT certification. Visit IVCTechnologies.com for more information and visit ModalShop.com for more information on the portable vibration calibrator.